Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Luna Neat, and what I'm creating for you today is a ASMR style <laughs> by proxy energy work session. And our themes kind of coincide with um, some themes in my life right now with an upcoming milestone birthday and not only my own milestone birthday but my aunt had a milestone in June and my son has a milestone <laughs> in August and it's just like a lot of this turn of the wheel this like stuff like that happening and I think one of the most uh, challenging things that we have to do as people is something that you know we might not even be lucky enough to do right so it's getting older like getting older is such a privilege right wouldn't you rather get older than not <laughs> you know what i mean sorry i don't mean to make a light of it that way but you know it's almost funny the way we kind of um despise or feel bad about or ashamed about or try to hide or whatever aging getting older and it's really again just such a gift not only do you know yourself more you learn hopefully you learn to like yourself more truly love yourself you learn about more that you want to create more that you want to experience you see the bigger picture in life from this perspective you understand that it's a gift you understand that nothing is forever we're all on borrowed matter and borrowed time and things like that so i wanted to make a video for this concept of aging so we can appreciate it more appreciate the smile lines the wrinkles the scars the ups and downs along the way, the experiences, the shortness of things, to appreciate it so that we can have more value for it in that time. And while of course I'm turning 40 myself, I'm middle aged now, <laughs> um, this can be, this is something I think I felt even in my 20s and 30s. So, and beyond I'm sure. So, it's definitely worth you know, from big sis here, it's definitely worth putting, um, taking the time, taking the time to reflect and allowing yourself to see the gift of aging, the gifts of getting older, the wisdom, the opportunities you've had, the sharing, um, the ways we connect, your understanding of relationships more, what you need from relationships, what you want to be and, and, you know, share of yourself in relationships, how you can uplift your friends, how you learn to have healthy boundaries, right? All of this stuff. I'm sorry, very lengthy intro here, but we're going to get into our session. So thank you for hearing me out. If you've never done anything like this before, or if you have, and you're still a little confused by it, I am an energy worker. I know that's a funny, it's a funny term. It's a funny title to say. It's a little tongue-in-cheek, but it's, it's true, you know, there is a power in prayer, there is a huge power in thought, and we're working in subtle realms, in a holistic sort of capacity here to get our mind right, to get our emotions right, let ourselves process, let ourselves contemplate, reflect, and have opportunities for growth and self-development. It's not therapy, but it can be very therapeutic. All right, so we're gonna get into our session. Thank you so much for being here. I just have a quick sponsored video or sponsorship to add here for you. So thank you so much for, uh, yeah, to the sponsor for supporting this channel. Thank you very much for supporting this channel and um, I'll see you very soon. Okay, thank you. Thank you so very much to Fabulous for sponsoring our video today. I'm loving this app right now, guys. I'm I'm turning 40 next week and there's a lot going on in my life. So carving out 
these times for myself not only to reflect but to process to stay on track to um, not just do my self-care although of course that's very important and i love to listen to fabulous coaching sessions while i'm doing my self-care but um to reflect on like the deeper things of what aging means and what wisdom is and uh, helpful ways to get back on track when you've got a lot going on or to stay on track, stay focused on, you know, not just your goals in the materialistic sort of way, although you can use Fabulous app for that as well, but even from like a spiritual component or a checking in with yourself, staying connected to yourself component, the Fabulous app has been so very helpful for me. The Fabulous app is a digital coach, a happiness trainer. It uses behavioral science to help us develop habits that will ensure that we live the lives we want to live. There are over 30 million users around the world already. So, you know, I mean, those numbers kind of speak for themselves, don't they? Really helpful for anyone who wants to develop and stick to healthy habits. And there's using these like the concept of just a science-backed daily routine and as a result we live more fulfilled and productive lives not only can you set up your schedule for the day and you know put your water reminders and reflection reminders which are very helpful there's also so much more there's coaching like i'll show here on the screen lots of coaching options there are um, journeys you can take that kind of walk you through day by day through um, a theme that you might be working on there are challenges right now I'm doing the eight day challenge to kind of like get back on track or stay really connected with myself while I'm going through a lot right now and like I said I'm turning 40 next week so I've been using the what is it called like uh, aging with zest or something I'll put it here on the screen this aging uh, coaching that's been very helpful I love listening to it I listen to it over and over again truthfully like I'm working on this as a theme so I've worked through this coaching probably three or four times already this month so far but I like to listen to it and just have it on the background and then I like to listen to it again and journal or kind of like take some notes or just like reflect on things that come up for me when I'm thinking about all this stuff can't recommend their dedicated programs such as the journeys and the coaching um, experiences enough. If this all sounds wonderful to you, right now Fabulous has an amazing offer. The first 100 people to click the link in my video description will get 25% off a Fabulous subscription. So start building your ideal daily routine, take advantage of all the support that's out there. I know there are lots of communities as well on Fabulous which is super helpful if you like that and just you know connect find ways to connect more with yourself to inspire self-reflection and help you process all the heavy stuff that we all have going on in our lives so thank you again to fabulous for sponsoring this video and thank you very much to my viewers subscribers i could not do this without you and i'm so grateful for this connection and this opportunity now let's get into our session These are frankincense. good perfect comfort perfect alignment I'm just going to set an intention of support of acceptance accepting your wisdom having perhaps more reverence 
for those of us who need it for the process of aging, getting older, for the blessing that it is, understanding it is a privilege, holding on to that. I find in moments when I'm beating myself up for physical things that come with aging, it's so tragic, you know, it's so ridiculous. It's not that it's not real to feel that way. It's not that my feelings are invalid and neither are yours. But like, when you think of the big picture of it, it's like, come on, dude, like, <laughs> if we could shift and alchemize our perspective to realize how lucky we are to be in this position, maybe we'd appreciate the smile lines and the laugh lines and the changes in our bodies because there's such change in our mind. There's more fortitude in our connection to our hearts. There's a greater, under greater um, ability of compassion. A little bit of a chillness, perhaps, that we can tune into as well. Like not rushing, savoring the moments a little more. So, I'd love for you to just have a look at this little light, this glow. Feel this warmth. And send in your intention. Make a wish, especially if it's your birthday or something. Make a wish. And just send it in. Perhaps to set an intention to wear your age proudly to connect with it. It's all so short in the big lifespan, in the big universal lifespan is what, excuse me, is what I mean by that. And there's so much value in every day. There's so much opportunity in every day. You're your own judge. You're your own critic. So let's be kind to ourselves, let's hold on to these things, accept these things, and again, alchemize our perspective to really connect with it in a way that we can be proud of, right? every moment you've been in this life experience. Every year, every day, every milestone, every achievement, everything you've overcome, every lesson, Every tear, every breakthrough, everything you've learned, all the ways you've grown. And that doesn't happen from a book, and it doesn't happen from a video or a song. It happens through experience. And Age carries a opportunity of rich authenticity, doesn't it? Experience. Age carries opportunity of experience. Experience carries authenticity. So we're 
just channeling through this agar wood to honor you through again every breath, every step, every moment, every hug, every hello, every goodbye, everything in your life experience. And you, the divine being that you are, navigating it, these ups and downs, these twists and turns. Focusing on love, self-love and acceptance. The release of a bias, a ageism. Because we all have it, in some way. We can't help it. Biases, clearing the shame, clearing the judgments that we have on ourselves and our bodies or our minds, how we maybe change how we think a little bit, whatever it might be. If it is not of your truth, it is not of universal truth, may it clear, may it release, so we can make way for a more empowered experience. theme here of clearing. We can use this gorgeous little hummingbird rattle. Specifically, first down your back, around the back of your head, down your back, and then the front of your forearm, side and side, below and above, to just clear all um, directions of consciousness, to really purify how you view this concept, this experience, all right? So starting over your head and down back, shoulders, spine, hips, back of the legs, knees, shins. I feel like age is kind of like this target, this target like on our backs. You know, personally, I feel like I'm at an odd age where I identify with things 
in both directions. And I'm often around people who are much younger than me. And I worry if I'm like, <laughs> I don't know, killing the vibe or something. <laughs> so in addition to clearing these channels of consciousness and perception, I also want to focus on clearing that feeling of being in the wrong place because of your age or um, that you have to dress a certain way or that you can only be interested in certain things and blah blah your style can change but that's just like evolution it's not because you can't so I guess over the head down to the face Through the heart, your sense of self, your ego, your creativity, your emotions, your relationships, your body, your path, your history, the channels, how you connect in this environment, how you navigate these waves, how you are supported. world, how you direct your will, how you tune in to the myriad facets of yourself and experience. Go to your back, directly behind your heart. Same intention. your place in this earth, your, um, what's the word, like, I don't want to say solid, but your eternal, in a sense, like, place, the, the I'm so sorry, the, like, the, the way that you live and experience and are connected to everything always, and the way that it's all a blip kind of neutral point of understanding these ideas we have of time and being and experiencing and legacy and then over your head at one more time specifically focused and again your connection to all that is your place in the universe journey okay just 
straight in, almost done with the rattle, just into the palm point. Don't block yourself from receiving anything based on your age. And the other, don't block what you create, how you express yourself, how you put yourself out there, how you communicate. Really openness here. Not forcing anything, just open flow for you to determine. We have a mukait, I think I'm pronouncing that right, mukait jasper, and a braciated jasper here. And mukait is known to be one that's supportive through the aging process. And braciated, I feel like it's just very supportive and can't go wrong with it. I'm just going to be tapping these around you, around your form here the intention to clear and release, to push out and pull in anything out that is in any way inhibiting your connection, your, I don't say pride, that sounds a little weird, right, but like your, your pride in how far you've made it so far in this game of life. And I don't say that in any way to disrespect or shame those who have crossed over. I don't mean that at all, so please, you know, I'm sure you know what I mean. We're just going to go all around these intuitive spaces. Just connecting with these beautiful very nurturing, very supportive. I'm gonna go through the joints specifically now. Focusing on how you feel supported about the future. How you feel comfortable navigating the future. Any fears you have about the future. Any fears you have still tied to the past. Any discomfort in navigating your past. And how you felt supported in regard to the environment in your past, the external. gorgeous piece of blue kyanite and some quartz in there. Let me see if I can show you better. Hope you can see. It's a really beautiful color too. These big blades. But it is like very delicate. It's always
always crumbling a little bit as no matter what if I pick it up or move it or anything at all. So I have to be really gentle. But I want to sweep this through your face because from my experience and maybe my understanding of how this will change with time. But it's not how I feel like inside that gets to me <laughs> the most. It's how I feel versus maybe how I look on a bad day, you know, or the changes in my body or face or whatever. That the entire world seems like, well, I shouldn't speak in such absolutes, but it feels like sometimes the entire world is out to cling on to that insecurity or that witnessing that we have about ourselves and then sell you on something or make you feel like you're not good enough and all this kind of marketing, you know, disempowering stuff. So I really want to focus around the face, but specifically on the perception of self, on looking into the mirror, you know, or seeing photos, videos of yourself and how you feel about it. So I'm channeling through, just sweeping through, relaxing, easing a little bit to purify how you see yourself, the judgment, the insecurity. Filling in, just to support and fill ourselves with true self-love and appreciation. Do you look at your grandparent and think like, "Ooh, <laughs> you got old. <laughs> like, no, you're like, I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for putting up with getting old so that I can see you more, you know? So why do we not allow ourselves the same grace, right? We deserve it just as much, okay? Right? And this little cutie piece came off. So, we're gonna focus into the mind, charging this little cutie cutie piece. Of blue guy in here. It's almost like a little blue window. We're gonna place this into the third eye, okay? So you can hold in your deepest connection, which you already have. This just can be supportive to help connect with that. Your deepest connection to really appreciate yourself. Kyanite is so helpful for clearing out negative energies or bad energies, untrue that which is not true, that which is malicious or manipulative, so to hold this and accept this in our minds, even from a imagination kind of standpoint or a playful standpoint, can still be very helpful. So just set an intention, allow yourself to receive, for this to imprint this awareness of self, awareness of empowerment, awareness of the gifts, to just be really fortified with use my favorite little itty bitty scissors because again like I said those tethers those hooks those comparisons those things that are used tying to our insecurity tying to something that we witness and identify in ourselves and it does then feel like a personal connection because it's something you've noticed but now someone is using it to manipulate you I hope I'm making a little sense. We're going to release those tethers, okay? The tethers of the media. The tethers of 
other's projections, the tethers of manipulation, the tethers of insecurity, whatever it might be, held, accepted as some kind of truth, a lie, a facade, that aging is shameful or something awkward or cringy <laughs> or bad or uncomfortable whatever it might be just gonna be clear any malicious tethers regarding the process and progress of your life Smiley eyes, your brow, your smiley face, your neck. Your sense of self, your connections, relationships, creativity, emotions, and your connection to this earth, to this body, to this experience. Your connection to the all. one of these in my bag and I use it all the time. I have one in this one in one bag and a frankincense in another bag and I love them so much. So we're just going to anoint your crown here like um almost like your hairline. Your cheekbones, just feeling your lips, and down your neck. Hands. 
those are so freaking yummy. Just gonna heat it up. And again, just sort of blend it in with a channeling to support just loving yourself, loving your face. Not in a, I'm not talking about vanity in a, you know, like hyper way, but to love yourself, to see how beautiful your sparkling eyes are, how beautiful your smile is, how important it is for your expression, how as, you know, we progress through our lives, we're showing others that, you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's not a shameful thing. It's not a... I don't know. I don't know the right word. It's not something we have to reject. We can embrace this. I'm gonna just respectfully glide my hands down the body and channel through to all parts but my intention for what you receive and where this is directed to you. May this be... May this go to the spaces of your insecurity or what you might nitpick about yourself or what you might feel less than great about. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to glide down, focusing on the hair, the scalp, the hair color, texture, thickness, thinness, patterns. We've kind of covered the face, but let me just channel through the neck, the shoulders, down the back of the shoulders, wrapping around the arms and down the back of the arms, down the sides of the arms, the elbows, forearms, wrists, fingers, and the skin, the skin on the shoulders and back and the arms. Going down the chest, respectfully, of course, channeling through, sending love to the chest, the abdomen, the stomach, the organs, the blood, the nerves, down through to the lower abdominal area, the hips, the back, the small of the back. back of the hips, channeling through, focusing as well on the skin, the outermost layer of the body, focusing on the front of the thighs, the knees, the shin bones, the feet, the toes, focusing on the back of the thighs, back of the knees, shin, ankles, heels, and just, just like that, I'm just gonna cover, gliding through, bringing light, bringing awareness, bringing acknowledgement, gratitude, thanks for our bodies, and for the honor to watch them change. The honor to be carried, the honor to dress and adorn them, to cleanse them, to move them, the honor to be hosted, our consciousness hosted, in these physical, I almost said meat sacks, but let's be a little kinder today, <laughs> these physical, beautiful, mobile, adaptable, flexible, strong, stretchy bodies, forms, formations of earth, of stardust, of minerals, of water, and how beautiful they are, and how beautiful it is to watch them change and shift and grow and move. The delicate nature of it all. Delicate 
really powerful, powerfully delicate. All right, moving through. But not least, I'm just gonna move this stone, this gorgeous labradorite. It's so pretty because one side is raw. Come here, I want to show you. Well, you just have to take my word for it that it lights up so beautifully. Labrador for me is very much about the unseen so I'm sure it's so very easy to focus on what is evident of change or you know comparing now to 20 years before or whatever I don't know stuff like that or what other people look like I don't know you get it there's a lot of that we are evidently <laughs> able to witness but what we're not seeing necessarily unless we try and we intentionally tune into it is the unseen here the unseen blessing the unseen wisdom tied to all of it the joy all of the smiles all of the experiences no matter what so I just wanted to connect this gorgeous stone and channel through I wish I could get it to shine for you. I'm sorry if struggling and even a little flashlight wouldn't exactly help. But just channeling through. Supporting your connection to tuning in to the unseen here in this experience of aging, of getting older, of getting wiser, of becoming more aware yourself, what you want, and asking yourself, you know, what it is that you want, and then moving after, knowing, understanding time, understanding resources, understanding what's important to you, no regrets. Thank you so very much for joining me tonight and thank you I've got been getting so many birthday wishes I'm not trying to I'm not trying to overkill it's just a big one for me so I'm sorry it's kind of weird to I'm like a Leo rising so you'd think like I'd be all about birthdays and I am about other people's but I'm like a Leo rising in the 29th degree so like my 12th house is full of Leo so it's it's like less than comfortable for me so forgive me for the oversharing here or overkill, but if you were thinking of doing anything for my birthday, this is so cringy, but Patreon is such a great space to support this channel. I know I've been a little slower lately, but that's not going to be forever. I'm just kind of in a little weird stage right now. I desperately would love to uh, get a studio space and I'm about a third, I have about a third of the resources that I need for that. So all of the support on Patreon just helps so much to reach that goal one day. He now, hopefully sooner than later, but I know it's coming. So thank you so much. From the very, very bottom of my heart, I bow to the, to the divine in you, dear, beautiful, divine one that you are. And I, you know, same as you. And I just have so much love for you and so much deep thanks. Wishing you nothing but the very, very best, and thank you again for joining me.